everyone and welcome to another episode of At Home Science with Friends on Everyday Science. Today I'm here with my friend Stephanie Pressman and we're going to be doing a chemistry C500 experiment doing, uh, we're making Prussian blue today. Prussian blue? <laughs> Otherwise known as Parisian blue or per per what? Per Perugian blue. Perugian. It was one artistic interpretation. So, so, tell us about who you are and what you do so our viewers get an idea of who you are. Well, Jessica, <laughs> I am an actor and host and producer, and I have a bunch of really cool shows out there that I am a part of. Um, Stocking LeVar is one of them, and the production company <laughs> is Dweeb, Dar Dweeb Darlings. I don't know why that was hard for me to say. I've said it so many times. Dweeb Darlings, um, we're a female-run production company that awesome. puts out original content made by women about women that are kind of nerdy. So, um, love that. And I also have two other shows that I produce and host called Fashionably Nerdy, which is about everyday nerd fashion. I see this. Uh, I see this. And uh, I have a travel show called Jet Set Nerds. And it's a nerd travel destination show. So we go to fun places and tell you how you can go there. Your yeah. life sounds so exciting and very nerdy, too. Yeah, it's super nerdy. <laughs> We're wearing blue gloves in honor of Prussian blue. Everything we need for the experiment, we have our two test tubes. We have pipettes. We have potassium hexocyanoferrate. Cyan's blue. That's what I think. But the powder is actually yellow. A yellowish. We have to do some chemistry, <clears throat> make some reactions. And then we have ammonium iron sulfate. Ammonium iron sulfate. So to start, we're going to dissolve one very small spoon tip of ammonium iron sulfate in a test tube filled halfway with water. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll fill halfway with water. Okay. Here, I'll hold the water. <laughs> Okay, that's going to take a while. Teamwork, this is our team song. So what is your favorite type of science? Hmm. Is it chemistry? <laughs> you know, I like chemistry because I like cooking and baking. Hmm. So that would be why I like chemistry a lot. But I also really like botany, even though I don't have a green thumb. I like learning about plants. <laughs> and I like... I kill most plants that I try to grow, unfortunately. <laughs> That's me. I don't know why I'm admitting that <clears throat> on my show. Now we need a small spoon tip of ammonium iron sulfate. So this has two sides. Okay. There's so this we want teeny, the small tiny one. side and this big side. Leave the little one. Okay. So we're going to dissolve it. It looks like salt. Salt Ooh. crystals or sugar crystals. It turned kind of yellowy. Oh, look at you go. Little known fact, but I actually used to work in a science lab. And this is what you used to do? I, actually, sometimes. Yeah, mix mix solutions with pipettes. Do, do, do. Okay. Steph, you're also in an improv group. Oh, yeah. I'm in a few improv groups. A few improv but, groups. But uh, they're both, both, both of my, my fantasy teams are super fun. I have a team called Dungeon Master that does fantasy improv um, based off of Dungeons and Dragons. Ah! And it's really fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's long form and scripted, and we take six people from the audience on a quest, which is super fun. Oh, really? And then my other right. team that's really fun in fantasy is Harry Potter themed. And we're called the show that shall not be named. So, so is a suggestion always for you, like your Harry Potter show? Um, Harry Potter our Harry Potter show, we actually normally ask for muggle items. Oh, okay. As a suggestion. And if you don't know what a muggle is, I'm sorry you haven't read or watched <laughs> <laughs> any Harry Potter books or movies. But a muggle is a non-wizarding folk. Ooh, this one's a little bit more like, like a sugar or cornstarchy. Consistency. Yeah. All right. But yeah, the show that shall not be named. We're really fun. <laughs> we dress up in our best Hogwarts attire and we create new stories. And we do a long form show 
which means that it's a story that continues going. It's not like a short little teeny scene. And uh, and it's really fun. It sounds like fun. I'm a huge Harry Potter Potter fan, so. (laughs) No. Yes. (laughs) Okay. All right. So we have our two solutions and our, our next step. Okay, here we go. Take the solution you made in step two and add eight to ten drops to the ammonium iron sulfate solution from step one. Okay, here we go, guys. <coughs> Real life science is about to happen before our eyes. One, two. <gasps> Do you three, see it? Four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. <laughs> it's blue. That is really neat. So Prussian blue, that's beautiful. Should now, I mix it? Yeah, let's mix it up. Steph and I learned a fun fact. So Prussian blue was the pigment that was used to create that uh, famous wave painting. By Haru, I don't know, Haru Ruki. I don't know what we'll his name is. He's a famous Japanese painter. That is so cool. Hey, that's really neat. I wish you could see it up close because it is really Spectacular. It's got like all sorts of fun. Here's a gratuitous insert shot. Ta-da! So let's um for our next step, we're gonna erase the blue. How do we do? That? And here's how. Okay, in a test tube, dissolve. <laughs> in a test tube, dissolve one large spoonful of sodium carbonate in five centimeters of water. You know, sodium carbonate sounds a lot like baking soda. Is it baking soda? I'm pretty sure it is exactly baking soda. And so is it going to get a fizz, fizz, fizz? Is it going to fizz over the edges? I don't think it will because that's just water in there. Okay. But if it was was vinegar, vinegar, we learned from making volcanoes (laughs) in elementary school. Stop, drop, pull, and roll. Whoa, it's turning like yellow. Okay, so our little book here tells us what is happening in our test tube. And it is, potassium hexocyanothurate is an indicator for iron. The experiment shows, though, that the solution being tested can't have an alkaline reaction since Prussian blue is unstable in an alkaline solution. And there we have it. Our baking soda is alkaline. So our blue is kind of disappearing it's like turning kind of brown, and the blue is going to the bottom. All right. Chemistry, guys. At home science with friends. Okay, that's crazy now. Now that, if you can't see that, then your eyes <laughs> need checking. It has turned, like, brown. It's like a... Amber. It's like a, yeah. And the blue is starting to go to the top. Oh, yeah, and I can see in the back here, the blue's just, it's um, it's almost turning into, like, a solid. So, Steph, can you tell us about any uh, projects that you have coming up that people can check out or some websites we sure. can look at? You can check out my website at stephaniepressman.net um, or dweebdarlings.com or fashionablynerdy.com or jetsetnerds.com. Or any of those things on Twitter (laughs) or Facebook. Um, We do giveaways all the time on all the shows, so check it out. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and doing science with us. There you go, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Be sure to subscribe to Everyday Science and all of Stephanie's. I'm pretty sure she has like five channels. You can subscribe right down there. Subscribe right down there. We'll put like a little thing there. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to see what kinds of science it you guys want to see us do next and uh and yeah like the video if you like it and we'll see you next time like it almost matches your shirt oh well we plan that (laughs) totally plan that (laughs) fashionably nerdy nerdy (laughs) in the flesh i always like my science to match my clothing (laughs) it's my thing it was blue to match the blue and the gloves and the nasa shirt and now it's orange to match my cardigan (laughs) <laughs> You've always got to do that.